Hey everybody, I am in my 2020 Shelby GT500 carbon fiber track pack and today is all about line lock burnout. I'm going to show how to engage it and basically show you the two different methods uh, of using line lock burnout. This is uh, with traction control on or with traction control off. The burnout itself is the same but then how you exit the uh, burnout is different with traction control on or off. With traction control on, line lock uh, burnout will interrupt traction control, allow you to spin the rear wheels. But as soon as you cancel line lock, traction control is instantly back on and the rear wheels stop spinning. So you're not gonna be able to burn out of the, uh, the burnout box. As soon as you cancel line lock, the rear wheels will stop spinning and then you're gonna slowly crawl out of the, uh, the burnout box. With traction control off, you can, you know, as soon as you exit, you can keep spinning. You can spin all the way down the, uh, the track strip, you know, or, or street. Um, so I'm going to give you a demo on how to set this up and then uh, show you the uh, smoky burnouts. Here we go. Time to look at all the uh, buttons, knobs, switches uh, to make line lock work. Um, so first of all, I'm going to put the car in drag strip mode. So down here with the toggle switch, there's my uh, normal, my mode, sport, track, and drag strip. You'll see the big tack across the top, says for track use only, I'm gonna hit okay. All right, something worth uh, pointing out here. Um, so right now I'm in normal mode, normal drive mode. If I just hit the uh, Cobra Snake button and go to uh, track apps and hit line lock okay, you're gonna see the dash change. It basically changes the mode for you. Um, into uh, drag strip mode. So um, yeah, I just go to drag strip mode ahead of time by myself, but it will default to drag strip mode if you uh, go to select line lock. Next up, I'm gonna hit the Cobra Snake button on the steering wheel, and that brings up your menu. Comes up in uh, my mode, toggle down to track apps, hit okay on the steering wheel, and then line lock, hit okay. Hold OK to initialize line lock. So you're going to press and hold the OK button. You see the wheels spin up. Now it says to, uh, to engage firmly, apply, brake, and hold. First of all, I'm going to make sure I'm in drive. And now I am going to press the brake pedal very firmly. And I'm still on the brake. I'm going to press OK, still standing on the brake. And I felt it in the pedal and I heard it. And there is my countdown for line lock. And it's time to do a smoky burnout. If you're unsuccessful in getting line lock to engage, uh, a couple things might be causing it. Uh, number one, the car has to be on a level surface. If you're on an incline, decline, you know, if, you're, if your butt end is down in the water box, it's a little bit low, um, you might not be able to do it there. So the car has to be level in order to uh, engage line lock. You have to stand on the brake very firmly. And you'll see, as you saw there on the dash, you really gotta stand until it uh, clicks and, and basically engages. Uh, make sure you're in drive and um, that should be it. It should work otherwise. So that's how you do a line lock burnout in a 2020 and newer Shelby GT500. Uh, it's worth mentioning, if you turn traction control off to do the smoky uh, exit of the uh, burnout, 
and you're going to use launch control, you gotta turn traction control back on before trying to use launch control. Uh, launch control requires traction control to be on, so if you're at the drag strip and you're doing this in sequence, burnout followed by launch control, make sure you get that switch turned back on. Uh, but that's the two ways how to uh, basically do the line lock burnout, uh, two ways to exit if you will. One with traction control on, you know, basically a rolling exit, and two is the uh, smoky burnout. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. See you next time.